Hello everybody, got another one for you. Uh, I find this um, whole transgender bathroom crap uh, rather offensive and stupid and all a happy jazz. You hear all these different arguments over you know transgender this transgender that oh my god this is starting to get out you know get way too goddamn much so <laughs> I don't know you know just the the newest one that I saw I think it was put up yesterday but I, I could be wrong when it was put up but you know, the newest one I saw was Montel Williams okay Montel Williams was talking to a reporter or you know news anchor or whatever the hell he was talking to and he held up two pictures one picture looked exactly like a female you couldn't tell that this picture was a dude no way in hell you could tell Okay, and the other picture showed somebody who looks to weigh about 250, 260, full beard, and that's supposed to be a female, and whatnot. And these are the type of things that they're showing to prove that, uh, you know, transgenders should be allowed to go into the into the bathroom or what they what they um, feel they are okay I'm sorry yes he's saying that uh, according to laws and or the way they're trying to push it this one person with a full beard and you know 260 250 260 on the weight According to the way laws are start, they're trying to come out with, is to deter, is to have that person go in the women's bathroom because that person was born female, and I don't know if that you know that particular person still has female genitalia or has had uh, reconstructive surgery. I don't know. It makes no matter, and you know the same. The same with the other one, where that per you know that person who actually looks female is because she, that person was born a male is required to go into men's room. Give me a fucking break! How stupid are these fucking people? Ah. where all this is stemming from is political correctness. Before the politically correct crap came into play, there wasn't any problem with this stuff. None. I'm sorry. I hate to say this, but even if that even if that one picture looks like, you know, you got your know, person with a full full facial hair and whatnot, I don't care. All right, if that person's got female genitalia and looks like a dude, I mean, completely 100% looks like a dude, and walks and tries to walk into the women's bathroom, yes, I will pull my gun out and say, I don't fucking think so. I mean, it's stupid. The argument, these people's arguments are just, they're getting more and more and more stupid. If you um, weigh 250, 300 pounds, and you're a dude dressed in drag, and you can definitely tell that you're dressed in drag, and whatnot, and I've seen them. No, you got no flipping business going into women's bathroom 
or locker room. And as I've said before, on my previous channel, I said this before, if I, you know, I've had the argument with, with, a, with a woman, of all things, a woman. She goes, well, sometimes the lines in the, uh, for the women's bathroom are just so long that some women will just go in the men's room and go to the bathroom. More power to the women. If the women, if women want to subject, subject themselves to using the men's room, more power to them. I mean, it just, it's stupid. You know, when, when you have a scenario of, see, I'm also willing to bet these people don't have kids. Yep. These people don't have kids that are pushing this agenda. Or if they do have kids, they're not girls. My, if, if I were to watch a guy dressed in drag going, Oh, I'm, I classify myself as female. I'm a transgender. Trying to walk into the same bathroom that, uh, same bathroom, same dressing room, same whatever that my teenage daughter is in. Oh, there's going to be hell to pay. Oh, yeah. There's definitely going to be hell to pay. And everyone's complaining about... Well, they recognize themselves as this. I don't care. There's enough individual bathrooms in this country to where if someone... Yeah, you know, if someone is claiming they're one thing and physically they're not, they can always walk into this particular bathroom. When they walk in, it's got one stall. It might have two. It might have a toilet and a urinal. Might. But typically it's just got a toilet in it. But when you walk in, you walk in and you lock the door behind you. So nobody can come in. And you're not and you're not walking in on someone else. I've said this this particular one I've said before. What's going to happen with the way they're pushing all this is there's going to be a rape in a girl's bathroom, girl's locker room, wherever, if it gets pushed too much. You know, if, if it gets pushed and everything becomes legal for the supposed pedophiles to be able to go into places like this, there's going to be a rape. And then what's gonna end up happening is people, gay people, lesbian people, uh, true transgender people it don't matter the rape's gonna occur and there's going to be a lot of people of that community die and I'm not saying that to be harsh what I'm saying is the straight people out here or the people yeah the people that are straight and can sympathize to certain things. What's going to end up happening is one of their daughters or their wife or their girlfriend or some family member of theirs is going to get raped and that one person that was a fit, you know, that, you know, straight, whatever, he's going to go on a killing, he's going to go on a killing spree. And it's not just going to be him. That one person will go on a killing spree, whether he is, whether he's arrested and, or shot or whatever, 
what that's going to do is that's going to be a rallying cry to quite a number of other people. And unfortunately, a lot of the gay, lesbian, and transgender people are going to die needlessly. I do not condone that. I know several people of that community and I would hate to see it happen but if this community keeps allowing this to be pushed it's going you know it's going to be cause a problem and I hate uh, I really hate to say this there's more straight people out here than there is lesbian gay, bisexual, or transgender. And all it's going to do is cause problems. So what, what I'm getting at here is, you know, the LGBT community needs to get their heads out of their asses and stop these people from pushing this, these agendas. There's no reason behind it. And if you ever notice, you never see, or let me rephrase that, you can't say never. I do not, I have never heard of a person that is transgender claiming they are a guy, but actually are female. walk into the men's room. I've not heard of that. It's always the other way around. These people that were born male, physically born male, are the ones wanting to go in the girls' bathroom, girls' locker room, and whatnot. All that is, is pedophilia. And these damn politicians are pushing it because they think it's going to get them more votes and whatnot. It should not happen. Alright, I'm going to let you go. If you like the video, hit the like button. Dislike the video, hit the dislike button. Just put in the comment section down below what you didn't like about it. If you're brave enough to. So, Alright everybody, y'all have a good day. I will talk to you another time.